What's up, guys? It's Sonny Jordan here, and um, today we will, we will be talking about the first news, and I am proud to say that on my channel, Star Wars Battlefront, I will be that. This is another game I will be following. This is one of the most anticipated games, bigger than bigger than most games that are coming out in 2015. But uh, you know, many many fan favorites about this game. So many people love this franchise. And it was sad that I had a halt in the series, but now EA slash Dice has decided to bring it back. And you know, I'm happy to say that this is this is one of the games I will be following this year in 2015. As you do, guys, as you guys do know, I have been following um, Evolve, Borderlands, um, Halo 5. Not much, but you know, I'm just following the games that I'm going to get for sure. You know, there are some. I will also I will also check out my game calendar for every game that are that is releasing um, in 2015. But you know. Today we're going to talk about Star Wars Battlefront for the first time ever, and I'm happy because, you know, I love this franchise when I was younger. I don't have a super profound knowledge of Star Wars, but, you know, I know the basic stuff. And, you know, I'm, I'm just excited for this game because, you know, EA and DICE, they're going to be working on it with the new Frostbite engine and whatnot. And, you know, and, you know, like, you know, they hopefully they won't just, they won't screw up with this because this is, this is a lot of weight on their hands, and... And they're able to pull this off successfully and make this a amazing first person shooter, third person, it's probably gonna be third person. I don't know why I said phrase, I don't know. But this game's gonna be exciting and I can't wait. Cannot wait. Anyways, guys, let's go on to the articles. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this nice solid background. EA Battlefront, new need for speed on schedule for 2015. For those who like need for speed, it will be coming out for 2015. Like, as I said earlier today on my other video, um I was saying that I was saying that um you know this it's not too big of a news but you know it's Star Wars Battlefront you know what Star Wars Battlefront is Star Wars Star Wars is Star Wars Battlefront <laughs> I'm just gonna stop talking to team today during Electronic Arts Q3 2015 earnings call the publisher confirmed that two big franchises are on track for 2015 releases EA tweeted last October that Battlefront will be available in holiday 2015 and today the publisher confirmed that the game will be out before Christmas and would be quote oh gosh and would be it would, quote, be aligned with the Star Wars movie rollout, unquote, which is scheduled to release in theaters on December 18th. Battlefield developer DICE has been working on a highly anticipated reboot, but a little has been revealed about the game since the E3 2014 teaser trailer. And, you know, I, I'll just read this for those Need for Speed fans, but a new Need for Speed title for consoles and PCs was also confirmed for a 2015 release. Last May, EA announced that the long-running fran racing franchise will be skipping a 2014 installment after more than 10 years of annual releases, but that the IP is now back in rotation. No further details were revealed for either title, but given the time frame EA is aiming for, we'll suspect to see and hear more about both at E3. Earlier, earlier today, EA delayed PGA Tour from this quarter, ending March 31st, 2015, to sometime between April and June. Anyways, guys, yeah, um, you know, it, it, it was said that Star Wars Battlefront was going to release in 2015, but it was never actually confirmed by EA themselves. But, you know, that's changed. EA actually confirmed Star Wars to be released in 2015 i'm super excited like i said the this is one of the games i will, definitely will be following cannot wait for this game and you know um, i'm gonna give you guys news about this and whatnot cannot wait for it it's gonna be extremely exciting and hope you guys get into this game because this is one of the greatest franchise ever created and you can ask anyone everyone has enjoyed star wars battlefront it's such a great game let's go on to the juicy news for today Look at look at this. Oh my gosh. This is oh my gosh. Star Wars Battlefront. Stunning Endor concept art revealed. IGN first. This is an article by IGN. I will be leaving the articles in the description, of course. By Mitch Dyer. EA and DICE have been quiet about Star Wars Battlefront since E3 2014. When we got our first glimpse of the revival in the Frostbite Engine 3. And while it'll be a bit before we finally see the multiplayer shooter in action, IGN decided to reveal this gorgeous piece of concept art. Let's see if I can download a high res. Can I? I think I can, guys. I think I can. Come on, my computer's loading awfully slow for some odd reason. There. Oh my gosh, this is just great. Look at this, guys. Property of IGN, by the way. There's the logo on the right hand corner, bottom right hand corner. But this is. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Look at this. They're just ready. Ready to battle on Endor. Stormtroopers right there. Guys, this game is going to be absolutely amazing. And I highly recommend that you get this game when it releases around the holiday. 
cannot wait for this game. It's gonna be it's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be absolutely stunning. Look at that explosion right there. Wait. Look at that explosion. Look at it. Look, oh my Okay, okay. But yeah. That's a, this is mm, absolutely fantastic. I will leave a link to this picture in the description. Okay, let's go. The imagery features a pair of rebels, a woman with a standard blaster, and a man with a scope rifle flanking a pair of stormtroopers. One with one wait, I already read that. Um, flanking a pair of stormtroopers. One with his rifle at the ready, the other priming a thermal detonator. Uh, um, no one wait. Ah, oh, I didn't realize he had thermal detonator. Oh, nice. Anyways, back to the article. I do apologize. I'm um, priming a thermal detonator as the forest moon of the Endor burns in the background. In the distance behind the Empire's ATST, we get a glimpse of Ewok villages in the trees, hopefully indicating vertically in Dice map, Dice's map design. A defeated ATST sits smoking in the woods. Perhaps this suggests destroyed vehicles remain on Star Wars battlefield, battlefield, battlefields. Dice remains close guarded with gameplay specifics, but speaking with IGN, Star Wars Battlefront design director Nicholas Figueres explained a, a bit more of what's to come when the first person shooter arrives this fall. This is the E3 2014 trailer. It's more of a documentary, and um, yeah, it's, in, it's it's embedded in the in the article, and I will be leaving the article in the description. So yeah, the scale of our maps and modes offer a great variety depending on the location. Figueres explained, "Ha, huh, where the Rebel Alliance fought off invading AT-ATs in snowy plains will differ in size than will differ in size than the dense woodland of Endor." We have actually made the decision to specifically tailor certain maps to certain game modes. Figures to continue. And we and what we get from that is not only incredibly varied varied scales, but also gameplay that will allow players to live out some of their most memorable Star Wars battle fantasies. Oh my gosh, guys, this is gonna be amazing. Scroll down. Dice's Frostbite Engine brings that to life by the way of the studio's internally developed foot oh my gosh. Photogrammetry systems. With photogrammetry, developers can use photograph images to achieve an incredible level of detail. We saw this in the vanishing of Ethan Carter, which IGN nominated for Best Graphics in the 2014 Best of Technology category. Perhaps the hardest part about bringing the franchise back is managing expectations. Like I said, they have a lot of weight on their hands. Set for grace. Star Wars fans, including ourselves, are incredibly passionate about the universe. Each of us have our own personal favorites. However, however, with the talent we have here at DICE, the Frostbite technology at our fingertips, and the fantastic working relationship we have with Lucas, I believe we will deliver a Star Wars experience that excites fans around the world and gives them the chance to play out battles of some of the most iconic locales in the series of the history. In the series history, gosh. It won't be, it won't be long before we, we... Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It won't be long before we see what he's talking about. DICE is set to reveal Star Wars Battlefront this spring. Wow. Right around the corner, guys. That's March, April, May. <laughs> We've been showing the game to to some close partners, and one of the things we hear is that it doesn't feel like other shooters, and that it's fully born from Star Wars. That really strikes a chord with me and the team as that it's exactly the emotion and feeling we are going to we are going for, and we cannot wait to show the world more this spring. For more on Star Wars Battlefront and more hot games of 2015, stay tuned to IGN. There you go. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. That's all the Star Wars Battlefront news for today. Like I said, guys, this is going to be something extremely exciting. This is going to be something amazing because this game is going to be, it's, it's going to be, it's just going to be astonishing. It's going to be outstanding. It's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be a great game. And I highly recommend you guys get this with your friends or just get it by yourself and fully explore this game. That's how I learned about Star Wars a lot. Well, not a lot, a lot, but, you know, just the basic stuff through the Star Wars games that I actually got into the, some of the movies. And I, I just have, I just know the basic knowledge of it. I can't say I know all the outside stuff, but, you know, I just have, I, I know, I know, I know what's going on. And like I said, guys, this is one of the high, highly, most anticipated games of 2015. And, you know, and this, this is also one of the new games I will be following on my channel. So be on the lookout for that, guys. Um, I, and Yeah, just be on the lookout for that. But look at this. This is just look. Look at that little village right there. You see right between those two trees and the little white area. Yeah, the Ewoks, man, the Ewoks. This game is gonna be absolutely great, and I cannot wait for it, guys. Anyways, guys. Anyways, guys. <laughs> Anyways, guys. I'm gonna end this video with this nice, amazing concept art. 
and yeah and if you guys like the video please like a, leave a like comment or subscribe if you enjoyed the content i really appreciate you guys for watching this video and take your time to actually watch the whole thing anyways guys this is sound with jordan peace late star wars battlefront will be releasing this year in 2015 be on the lookout i'm very excited anyways guys see you later peace